Hi thinkers, welcome to ThinkX Academy. In this tutorial, we are going to configure the Tomcat server in the Eclipse IDE. So basically from this tutorial onwards in this Java playlist, we are going to focus on the enterprise web development in Java. So basically we will study all the things that are required to become an enterprise Java developer, basically a web developer. So we will discuss Java server pages and servlets in detail. And then we will also see some frameworks like the Spring framework, etc. in this playlist. So let's start by setting up a server. So basically a server is basically used to deploy our website and we can actually run the uh, website and we can show the HTML pages or the Java server pages. And we will get that, uh, we will get back to that in uh, a few minutes and basically what we are going to do is let's first download uh, the Apache Tomcat server. So just type Apache Tomcat in the web browser and you will be able to see this download link. Go on this link and here you can see there are some Java, sorry, Tomcat versions available. Just click on Tomcat 9 and here you can see there are some options. Since my Windows is a 64-bit, I will click this link and it will download a zip file, right? So after this, what you have to do is just go on downloads and you will have to extract this uh, uh, from WinRAR and you will be able to see this folder here, Apache Tomcat 9.0.36. So this is the server uh, folder that we are going to install in the Eclipse. So basically we are going to use the Eclipse IDE for Java Enterprise Edition to install our server and to do all the enterprise web development. So the first thing is, the you, I, I should show here, this, this, these are the perspectives available in the Eclipse IDE. So if you have previously installed Java for Eclipse, you will be able to see this Java perspective and just uh, on the right side, sorry, on the left side of it, you can see the Java Enterprise Edition perspective. So if you will click on this perspective, it will basically open all these tabs that you can see here. And in the servers tab, you can see there are no servers available. Click this link to create a new server. So let's create a new server. And on clicking this, you can see it will open a dialog box like this. And what you'll have to do is go and choose the uh, Tomcat version 9.0 server. And this is the server runtime environment. You can click on add if you have not added. Then you will have to go on browse and then you will have to go on the downloads and you will have to basically just choose the folder, the Apache Tomcat that we have downloaded and select that folder. And then finally, you will just have to finish this click next and click uh, finish, right? So after finishing this, you can see that in the servers tab, it is saying uh, the server is at localhost. What you will have to do is right click on it and uh, it will show you some options. Just click on the start option. And basically it is now going to start the Tomcat server. So you can see it has started. If you will double click on this, uh, it will basically show you this whole, uh, you can say the settings and all the information related to the server. 